the Special Operations Group, Sergeant. I'll keep the introductions brief. This is Major Al Torres of the 14th Light Infantry. Pleasure to meet you, Sergeant. Some of the boys refer to me as Merlin. I've seen a lot of action. If you listen to my advice, you should be able to crush these metal frags to dust. And this is Technician Sterner of the Experimental Weapons Lab. The name's Rachel. I'm happy to get to work with you, Sergeant. Let me start by saying that you do not have to write down everything we tell you. All important information will be transferred to your memory core on the ACE Battle Armor. You will have the opportunity to review it by bringing up your orders once you're in the mission area. With that said, let's run over your first mission profile. Sergeant, we wanted to give you a chance to practice using some of the weapons of the ACE Battle Armor. But the war has escalated to a point where the only practice you'll receive is on the training sim. Therefore, you are ordered to proceed to 1-5 Mark 1-6 in Alpha Sector. A squadron of HKs are already en route there. Their mission is to destroy the relay tower we have set up. You must not allow this to happen. Destroy any HKs in the area until your order screen lets you know you've held the area long enough. They call you Iron Wolf, huh? Well, we'll see if you live long enough to earn that name. My only advice is take along fusion grenades. Trust me, you'll need them. Merlin is right, Iron Wolf. He's terminated targets we thought only a magician could get to. He's going to fill you in on the next part of your mission. Sergeant, two days ago a recon patrol managed to get into a Skynet underground complex whose entrance is located on the southern edge of Alpha Sector. Most of their transmissions at this point became garbled. They did, however, manage to capture strategic information on Epsilon Sector. This information is vital to us planning any concerted offensive. Sadly, we lost communications with them as they were leaving the complex. The last known position of the team was 80 Mark 65 on level 2 of the sub-complex. We need you to get in there and recover the team. If they're all dead, get the Epsilon Sector telemetry and bring it back to the extraction point. Skynet has set up a gun tower near the entrance to the complex. You have to destroy the gun tower to enter the lab. You may want to try some fusion grenades. They should be able to punch through. A very important warning, Sergeant. Do not, under any circumstances, throw grenades while facing a wall or some other structure. As you can guess, the grenade will impact the wall in front of you and go off. Once that gun tower is blown, the way should be clear to enter the complex. Be careful, it's a maze down there. Bring back that sector telemetry, Sergeant. It can make the difference between winning or losing this war. Try and keep a cool head. There are numerous safe zones where you can make repairs. Usually they're tucked into alleys or dead ends. Underground, it should be safe to perform repairs near the elevator shafts. Use them if you have to. I had the ordnance staff give you an extra repack of ammo and a repair kit. They only work once, so use them sparingly. If you can get this telemetry, it means we can plan an assault into Epsilon Sector. Good luck, Sergeant. It is vital that the relay tower in Alpha Sector is protected until we have a chance to download the information we have coming from our mobile command HQ in Delta Sector. Without this information, we won't be able to decode the telemetry you have to recover. It will be useless. Sergeant, you are dismissed.
Sorry that the recon patrol had not been able to hold out. Still, the information you've retrieved will be invaluable to the resistance. Also, I must commend you on your performance. It's quick thinking like yours that will save us in the end. Get some sack time while you can. We're going on an assault tomorrow into Epsilon Sector. I think you're ready for some real action. Once again, Sergeant, good work. did a good job retrieving that telemetry. This one may be a little tougher. You are ordered on first assault across the border into Epsilon Sector. This is primarily a search and destroy mission. You are clear to terminate all enemy targets. Your primary mission is to locate and destroy the central comm grid in Epsilon Sector. This will hopefully cripple Skynet's communications capabilities in that sector. Major Al Torres will fill you in on the details. If it's possible, you will eliminate Relay Station Epsilon-1 and Relay Station Epsilon-2 to cut off communications in Epsilon Sector. Save your fusion grenades. You'll need them to destroy the Relay Stations. Once you've made your way through Skynet's defenses, use the proximity mine we provided in your inventory to blow up the comm grid. Once all your targets are eliminated, you will return to the extraction point marked on your automat. I don't have much advice to give. Try and stay close to walls to use as cover. Stay away from open areas. To use the proximity mine, simply get as close as you can to the comm grid. Then go to your inventory and use the proximity mine. You'll have five seconds to get away, but make sure you stay within visual range of the comm grid. The detonator on the proximity mine is triggered by a signal from your battle armor. If you get out of visual range, the mine won't detonate. This is a pretty straightforward mission profile. Just be careful of the numerous gun towers in the area. Although they can't move, they pack quite a punch. Some Scorpion units have also been sighted. If you run into those, try and get away. I don't think any weapons we've developed can punch through their armor, except the fusion grenades. You'll be wanting to save them, however, to blow up the relay stations. I'll see you when you get back. Success on this mission means we get access to Epsilon Sector and all the technological information Skynet may have stored there. Good luck, Sergeant. Dismissed.